Hello guys and welcome to the uh, Cliff Tony podcast. Today I am my host Tony and uh, Cliff is not joining us again. Completely fine but that's whatever. Uh, so anyways, topics for today. I will do the serial one, David Carter. I will do it. But it's just going to take me a little bit. It's going to take me a while before I do it. But anyways, topics. Uh, okay. First topic for today. World War Three. How do I think it's going to start and how do I think it's going to pan out? Okay. So how, how do I think it's going to start? Well, if you ask me, I feel like you know it hasn't started yet but I feel like it's getting to brink I feel like we're on brinkmanship right now because Russia Ukraine you know that alliance thing and World War One you know the alliances well I think something similar is gonna happen I feel like Ukraine's gonna join NATO or whatever you call it the North Atlantic Treaty Pact or what you call it organization and Russia is going to bring China into this somehow I don't know if China will join or not but you know we will get involved and China will get involved which is no good mix you know that's not that's not a good mix for anybody and I feel like uh, oh what is it called I feel like, yeah, it's just not going to be a good mix. So what? how do I think it's going to pan out? Well, I think that nuclear warfare is definitely an option. But I feel like they will try to peacefully kind of solve it first. By, like, you know, millions of people dying with uh, uh, shooting each other and stuff like that. But after that, I feel like it's going to go to nuclear warfare. Which is not going to be good at all. Not going to be good for anybody. And I feel like nuclear warfare. I feel like the United States is the only country that can shoot down a nuclear missile. Correct me if I'm wrong. Correct me if you think I'm wrong. But I feel like in the next 10 years we can shoot down a nuclear missile. Which I feel like that is the biggest advantage that we have right now. Like... I mean, like, that's huge. Shooting down nuclear missiles, I mean, come on. Like, how does it get bigger than that? Like, nuclear missiles, I mean, come on. No nuclear missiles. Uh, how do I think that's going to happen? Okay. Um, how do I think we're going to shoot them down? I think we're going to take satellites. And we're going to, you know, pinpoint them wherever they are. And then we're going to shoot them down with a laser beam. Some high-tech shit right there. But, like, I mean, it could happen. It's possible. But, um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, some Franz Ferdinand shit's going to happen. You know, take me out kind of shit. That shit's going to happen. Uh, <laughs> Whether it be Biden or... <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Wouldn't this just be funny? Fucking Russian push him down the stairs. Push Biden down the stairs. Oops! There we go. One, two, three. Here we go, baby. Yeah, we, the United States would be like, Wait a second. We don't want World War Three. We don't want to need that fuck. <laughs> Oh, God, I'm terrible, but, like, you know, it's true. Biden has done nothing, and, like, I feel like, see, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, correct me if you have a different opinion about this, but I feel like, you know, Russian pushes Biden down the stairs, that's going to call the World War Three. Either that or it's going to cause some serious consequences. 
the consequences we don't want. <laughs> I mean, like, you know. So how do I think it's going to start? I think I already said how it's going to start. How it's going to pan out. Next 20 years after World War Three, I think that we will get smart enough and end the war. And I feel like there will be nothing left after that. But, just in case if there is something left, if we do have a United States, and if we do have a China, you know, or Russia, and, you know, all the countries, if we do have all of that, you know, I feel like the next big step for us would be to go to space. You know, and another topic I want to visit is what's going to happen in 50 years. Another topic. What's going to happen in 50 years? I think in 50 years, no World War III is going to happen. I don't think World War III is going to happen. I don't think it's a possibility. I feel like we're not dumb enough to send nukes at each other. You know, giant bombs of mass destruction, you know. Mass destruction hits our countries we're done for, you know. No, I feel like it's going to happen like, you know, it's going to be peaceful. You know, there's going to be a little bit of bullshit, a little bit of disagreement, but we're going to be mostly peaceful, and uh, I feel like we're going to literally go to Mars. We're going to Mars, alright guys? I will see you guys on Mars. And I will leave my spacesuit in the shuttle, and I will suffocate and implode, okay? But... <laughs> Yeah, don't leave your uh, stuff in the space show, alright? Make sure you got it on when we go to Mars. But, another topic I wanted to visit was uh, space and all that stuff. Space exploration, how that's doing. And I really think we should go to space. I really think that we should, you know, maybe tax something. Tax things. And then we should use those taxes... For space. Uh, I don't know if you guys agree with me on that. But I think that if we tax things. And then go to space with them tax dollars. I feel like we're going to literally. You know. We're going to make our money's worth. Because we're going to go to another planet. And this one's not going to be so populated. So. Dome cities on Mars, you know, that, that that would be cool, greenhouse effect, if we ran factories on Mars, if we just ran those damn factories, you know, made carbon dioxide and all that shit, I feel like then, if we planted some grass, you know, maybe some uh, trees, we would get, uh, I don't know, uh, a thing called... Oxygen, H2O, or other words, and we would literally make a planet like Earth. The only thing is, is that we just need to do this, you know, we need to put this planet in action, and I feel like if we ran factories on Mars, and then made the H2O effect, or the, oh my gosh, the uh, carbon dioxide effect, global warming, Kind of like how it heats up Earth. Well, only that, it heats up Mars. So, Mars will be hotter. So, that means that the, you know, the polar caps will melt and all that stuff. That that stuff would be good for Mars. Because, like, global warming for Mars would be good. Because it'd be warmer. If you think about it. Like, it would literally be warmer. Literally. Be warmer. On Mars. And Mars would literally, you know, it'd just be warmer. It'd be a peaceful planet to live on. You wouldn't have to wear a space suit on it. Wouldn't be attacked by anything, I don't think. Unless an aliens invaded, like in my last video. But, you know, chances are the aliens aren't going to invade there. They're going to, so, um, they're going to be like, oh, look. A, uh, or oh, what do you call it? A bug. You know, it's, they're, they're gonna be like, ooh, look at that, it's a bug. 
and they can't even communicate with us because we're so dumb. You know what I mean? Like that's how, that's the level of sophistication that they will have over us. Is that you know it will be like they will have the level of intelligence. To the point to where they couldn't even communicate with us because we're that dumb. I know it's crazy. How could they get that advanced is my question. And, uh, well, if you think about it, you know, if they're going to different planets and conquering other planets, they would have to be that advanced. <laughs> like, aliens? I mean, come on, guys. Uh... But yeah, Mars, I don't think World War III is going to happen. Uh, Mars, you know, if we nuked Mars a bunch of times, it would warm Mars up. Only problem with that is, there'd be some fallout. But I feel like if we literally warmed Mars up, melt the polar ice caps so there's water, built some cities, I feel like we would be in good shape then. Then we'd be on Mars. So I'll see you guys. <laughs> hey. Hey. I made a little trick here. I left my. Uh. Space suit in the shuttle. Right? Remember that? I don't need a space suit. Because there'll be grass. And there'll be oxygen on the Mars. So literally. I don't need my space suit. So haha. -ha, I don't die. In uh, space, outer space, and implode. What am I fooling myself? <laughs> like, come on, guys. You gotta think past my riddles here. They're Tony riddles. <laughs> but, anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Hit that damn subscribe button, please. God damn it, don't unsubscribe to me. I mean, come on, guys. It's a red button. Just hit the damn button. Hit that damn bell. I love you guys. I mean, I hope you guys have a great day. And don't go to Mars because it's a red planet right now. They need to fix it up first for us. And uh, nuclear warfare don't happen. I'm not jinxing it. Fuck that. Okay. Do not nuke each other. I'm begging you, please. Just don't do it. D don't, don't press the red button. Okay. And Biden, good luck. May the force be with you. I don't know any other presidents. Um, good luck to the other presidents of the world. Or the other presidents of other countries. Um, good luck to uh, my subscribers. Good luck to anybody else that's watching this video. Good luck. I don't know why you need luck for any of this, but just don't nuke each other. I'm done. Hey, make sure you subscribe, though, and hit the bell. I love you guys. This is my life's work. I'm done.